And if you if you're not faithful in this small building, when we build the bigger one, you think you're gonna be faithful? <laughs> if God blessed us with a with a jeep and a and a, and a van and they are available now, and you don't make yourself available. You think you can give up give us a big bus? For what? Nothing. A waste gas? Yes. We must get serious about the things of God. We must get serious about the work of God. Every individual have a part to play in the kingdom of God. Amen. Even the little children. Yes. Every individual have a part to play in the kingdom of God. So Jesus is going to say, well done, the good and faithful son. Will Jesus say to you, well done? You think Jesus told Paul, well done? Of course. Paul suffered so much. But why were these men, all these apostles, willing to die, willing to suffer for preaching a message of love and peace? That's why when I say it's well with my soul, I know that everything that I'm doing for this ministry will not go unseen by God. It will not go unseen by God. I know that. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. How could Satan cast you into prison many ways? But the Bible says that the devil will cast some of you into prison. That he may be tried. And he shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. Be thou faithful unto what? Death. Unto death. And I will give thee a crop of life. Amen. Some people faithful today and tomorrow they're not faithful. Faithful today, unfaithful tomorrow. And we take the church of God for granted. We take the people of God for granted. We take the work of God for granted. So what? I don't have to come to Bible study. So what? I don't have to come to prayer meeting. Who cares? God looks down and says, Oh, and you want my crumb of life? You want my crown of life and you're not faithful. The Spirit of God lives in you. He will teach you. Galatians chapter 5, reading from verse 22, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering. Long what? Suffering. Long suffering. We must be able to suffer long. Some people don't want to suffer. Mm -hmm. Suffer for the gospel, say. Oh, I pray if I go, I go and talk about Jesus, they will say this about me, they will say that about me. Who cares? They spoke bad about Jesus. And what did Jesus preach? Love and peace. Love and peace. And they tried to kill Jesus. Because he preached love and peace. Luke chapter 9, reading from verse 23, it says, And he said to them all, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily, and what? Follow me. Taking up your cross represents suffering. Jesus bore that cross upon his shoulder. Jesus had the cross upon his shoulder. Heavy. And Jesus said, take up your cross and follow me. Do the things I do. Suffer the way I suffered for the gospel's sake. If any 
man said they come after me, let him deny himself. Come on, we need to start denying ourselves more. Deny yourself some more. The reason why some people don't put effort into the church and faithfulness is because they're always thinking about themselves. Amen. Amen. If you begin to think about others, you will see things straight. We suffer still. Pick up your cross and follow me. First Peter 3, read it from verse 13. And who is he that will harm you? If he be followers of that which is good, but and if he suffer for righteousness sake, happy are he, and be not afraid of the terror. 